Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we'll be discussing about a cool exploitation framework which is named as Wi-Fi exploitation framework. So this video is going to be a short video and uh, you can see I'll be providing all the resources uh, for this which I'm going to uh, explain in this video in the description below so you can go and check that out. So Wi-Fi penetration testing or Wi-Fi hacking so you should do it legally and this is the disclaimer so I'm not responsible for any illegal act that you're going to perform. And you can also do this Wi-Fi exploitation uh, uh, via manually as well. So there is one of my top video which is having like more than 50,000 views. Uh, I shown you how you can perform the Wi-Fi exploitation manually using aircrack ng. So I leave the lead, uh, link for that video in the description as well. So if you are like more towards the manual part, so you can go and check that out. But this is a Wi-Fi exploitation framework. So this is like automated to be honest. And you have like a uh, de-authentication attack. So you can de-authenticate clients authentication attacks beacon flood attacks like you will be uh, like emitting wi-fi with like different names like for example you can see these are few names here so these are like uh, beacon this is like a beacon attack so you'll see more uh, wi-fi like rogue wi-fi names or sort of stuff a pkm media attack evil twin attack so stealth attack like pixie dust attack so these are some sort of attacks that you'll be using like I, <laughs> to be honest even i'm not sure about all these attacks like most of these attacks are like some better version of the existing attack so that's it okay so these are some few features uh, features and uh, you can see you can select a word list and sort of stuff air crack engine and sort of stuff so yeah so let's start installation installing this tool so just copy the url uh, just go to your kali so this works in kali because kali or linux okay uh, whichever it's fine so just do git clone and place uh, paste the url and i already installed it so cd wef okay so wef in the sense like wi-fi exploitation framework in short form so if you do an ls you can find the setup dot uh, sh so run this setup dot sh so if you are not root right uh, make sure you mention sudo here but i'm already root here so i'm not going to mention that so just run that uh, I already ran that okay and the tool is um, I've been using this tool for some time so after running this to uh, after running this script it will take some time it is going to install all the requirements and sort of stuff and you can simply access the tool by typing a command like wef and hyphen hyphen help okay so you can see you have like following interfaces here so that's fine so before that like in order to perform any wi-fi attack so you need to have a wi-fi adapter so which supports monitor mode and uh, i have like a monitor mode I, I have like adapter fixed but i think it is in the monitor mode no it is not in the monitor mode so let's uh, restart the service once again so now if i do iw config you can see i already attached a uh, interface it should be in managed mode in order to make this tool run you should keep this in managed mode so for example if i do once again you can see the interfaces it is showing up as wln0 so mention wef hyphen i and wln0 so don't mention the monitor mode id okay you should mention the managed mode id only like don't try to convert your uh, 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 like adapter into the monitor mode you should show up here okay it should show up if it is not showing up you can simply run the command that i previously ran like service a network manager restart and it is going to restart the interfaces once again okay so uh, now after doing that just hit enter if you are not root just mention sudo because some of these tools require like high privileges okay so i'm not going to show you attacks on sort of stuff but i'm just going to walk through about like what attacks that you have basically like you can see it is in managed mode so first of all in order to do any of this attack so you need to uh, put this in the um, uh, like uh, monitor mode so just run option seven so seven op seventh option is for like to make this in monitor mode okay so yeah let, let's wait for some time now if you do iw config uh, iw config you can see it is in the monitor mode okay so it is going to convert it automatically and you have like michael exploitation attack replay attack null pin attack a beacon flood attack d authentication attack so just choose an option for example a d authentication attack uh d authenticate all clients so i'm like psycho <laughs> I'm going to do all, I'm going to de-authenticate all the clients. Because in real time, you uh, you can get your results based on like single, uh, by de-authenticating single client because you are not sure, right? Maybe the client, maybe not using his device. But if you de-authenticate all the clients, then there is a good chance that some of them may be reconnecting back. 
so then you can capture the hash or sort of stuff but here t authentication attack so we already covered the video series uh the last two video series last two videos which are all about wi-fi jammer so wi-fi jammer or wi-fi d author whatever it is so it t authenticates all the clients that's it simple and you have like ess uh, you, you got like few networks here so uh, most of you can select any one just copy the name ess id okay now for example this is my wi-fi itself i'm not going to attack on anyone else uh do you want to capture the handshake if you want you can why uh, i don't want to no a package to send uh starting d authentication attack so let me see whether it takes time yeah i got d authenticated pretty much quickly uh i'm not able to connect when i'm getting connected it is getting disconnected uh so log is also stored okay but you can see the time okay so the packets to send are only 10 here but if you hit uh, zero right so it is going to deauthenticate for like longer time until you stop it so i'll show you that as well um deauthenticate all clients uh, i'm going to mention the sage of nine tails uh yes i want to hit y uh yeah so you can hit like thousand seconds or some sort this is in seconds okay so thousand seconds like for thousand seconds thousand seconds in the sense like it's a lot of time you can connect to that wi-fi like i'm not able to connect to that wi-fi uh you know windows shows up but to be honest it doesn't it is not connected like if i turn and on a uh, turn you can see i'm not I'll, i'm not able to connect you can see it is going to mention in like uh, connecting stage only because it is performing deauthentication attack so that is one thing you can do like uh, after thousand seconds or you can hit control c to exit okay then you can restart the tool once again uh, okay so there are other attacks as well so like i can't show all the attacks in this video itself so you can perform any attacks of your choice like uh, just if you don't know anything like for example i don't know what this chop chop attack is so let's see what this chop chop attack is like uh, these names are like pretty weird okay uh, chop chop attack uh, what is a chop chop i can wep okay this uh, works against wep okay fine it's like old encryption so you can see you can go through any of this sort of stuff like you may know this stuff okay like you may know what's actually happening but the attack names are a bit different okay so try to go through them like if i don't know what this cafe latte attack so these attacks are like pretty uh, you know uh, pretty weird the names are pretty weird uh it's like to obtain wep key so these are like wep attacks i guess but mostly you see wpa or wpa2 so yep that's it so if you do end up liking this video make sure you like it and this is a short video so if you have any suggestions for the next videos you can do let me know in the comment section i'll be checking them out and if you want to connect with me personally you can check out my twitter and if you want to be part of this channel's community you can check out my discord server all the links are in the description below Thank you for watching the video till the end. This is Satvik signing off. I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.